Hi, Dero Doers, and welcome back. Here at Bloom, we have a huge variety of different customers and vendors, and we can't apply a one-size-fits-all approach to them. We need to apply different tax rates and use different accounts depending on if these partners are domestic versus international or individuals versus businesses. Let's take a specific example. In Belgium, we apply a standard 21% VAT rate, but if we sell to a business in another European member state, we need to apply a 0% tax rate instead. This is called an intra-community transaction. Fortunately, Odoo has fiscal positions, which are sets of rules that can automatically map the generic tax rates and accounts on a product to the specific tax rate and account for each partner. Let's take a look at it in our database. To get to our fiscal positions, we'll go into the accounting app, and then we can open configuration, fiscal positions. So here you'll see we already have a few default ones that were installed with the Belgian fiscal localization. We can open our intra-community fiscal position and take a look at our sales taxes. So the left side here is the tax that's normally applied on a product. And the right side is the tax rate that should be applied instead for partners with this fiscal position. So any product with a tax that's on the left side here, even this 21% sales tax, if it's sold to a customer with this fiscal position, Odoo will instead apply this 0% sales tax that's on the right. The most common mistake that I've seen from new Odooers is to have the same tax on both sides, which would do nothing. So remember, fiscal positions should always have different taxes on each side. Now, here in our account mapping tab, we can do the exact same thing, but with income and expense accounts that should be hit. So now that we know what fiscal positions are and how to set them up, we need to determine when they get used. For that, we have several options. We can set them manually on a record, such as a sales order, and that's great for specific cases, but we don't use Odoo to set everything manually. So let's see what our other options are. We can also set the default fiscal position on a contact record, so all their invoices and bills use the right taxes and accounts. And when we really want Odoo to do the heavy lifting, we can use the detect automatically feature. This automatically uses this fiscal position when it should apply based on the partner's VAT number or a country or a country group. Note that for this to work, you must use a verifiable VAT number. Lastly, anything that is in this legal notes section is going to be included on the invoice. Now, let's create a new invoice. So we'll go to Customers, Invoices, and create a new one. And we're going to leave the customer field blank at first and just add a product. So when we do that, we'll see it has the standard 21% sales tax that is set on that product record. If we open up the other info tab, we can see that no fiscal local or fiscal position, excuse me, is applied. So once we set the customer to Acres Lawn Care, that field is populated. We see that we have the intra-community fiscal position. But since this line was here before, it doesn't update that tax rate. So what we can do is just delete it and add it once again. And now it has the correct 0% tax rate. This is why it's best practice to always set the partner first. Dallas, what about a company in Canada? I was that over there, the taxes depend on the province in which the customer is in. That's a good point, but don't worry, we can use the same detect automatically feature and get even more detailed. So we'll go back to our fiscal positions and we're going to go into our Canadian company. Here we can open up any of our Canadian fiscal positions, this Alberta one for example, and we can see we have the detect automatically feature enabled and the federal state filled out. So if we created an invoice for our customer in Alberta, we would see that the invoice's fiscal position is set automatically, even though the customer doesn't have a fiscal position set on their contact record. So now, if I create a new database, I don't have to set a fiscal position on each and every single contact, right? Exactly. So now we know about how to configure fiscal positions and how to use them to correctly apply the right tax rates and income or expense accounts on our invoices and bills. That's all for this video. This has been your pal Dal. I'll see you next time.